Hey everybody, it's Brian and I wanted to drop a quick video note of what I've been doing because I've been getting a lot of messages. People are asking about Qt. Well, Qt 6 is not out yet, so I haven't really done anything for it. But what I have been doing is developing what's called production value. What is production value? I have no idea. I have a lot of friends who are into it and they're telling me you need to do things like background music and animations and 3D animated this and that and da 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 da. I don't know how any of this stuff works. Um, I'm not very good at it, but I try. So like this is Blender. I made this three dimensional cute logo. I'm actually very proud of this. I took a while to make this thing and I've been figuring out how to, you guessed it, animate it. So pretty proud of that. So basically every video is going to have like an intro and then when the video is over, it'll have an outro that says like, you know, thank you for watching or whatever. I haven't really decided. And I've been working on other videos, like how to explain things like uh, arrays and variables and casting. Actually, I'll just show you. And I'm going to apologize in advance. I have to put like this giant example thing on it or people will just blatantly steal it. blasting example on the screen is just if I don't I've learned the hard way people will 100% download this video chop it up steal it put those in their channel and then report me on YouTube saying that I stole it from them it's actually happened dozens of times it's ridiculous so um, I'm not sure why they'd want to report the people they get their videos from it seems like they'd be killing their supplier but anyways so things like this also major major news cute six cute released this QList changes in Qt 6 on September 30th, 2020. QVector and QList are unified in Qt 6. As we've long, suspe long suspected, I'm so excited I came to talk, QList is pretty much going to go away of the dinosaur. Not really. It's just going to be merged with QList. But this is part of why I haven't really dived into 6 yet, because they're still making a lot of changes. So it's hard to really keep up with these changes. And they've been... I don't want to say tight-lipped about the documentation, but you got to kind of figure it out on your own at this point. So really waiting for more news from Qt6. I'm super, super pumped for this, and I know a lot of you are as well. If you're not using Qt6, if you're using Qt5, don't worry. There's still long-term support for a long, long time. I think it's 15.5 long-term support. So Qt5 is going to be around for a long, long time. If you're starting a project from scratch, definitely start with Qt6 when it comes out. But if you have something in production now, stay with long-term support until you have to switch or until you've fully tested Qt6 because there are going to be changes. But yes, anybody picking up my YouTube channel or my Udemy courses, they're going to notice if they download 6 and I'm using 515 that Qtlist may or may not even exist. So that will be a thing. <laughs> that being said... Um, I need to go through and up the production value of my videos, this kind of stuff, along with using, and I'm thinking about doing this, I'm not sure, using things like a whiteboard. Now you could have a whiteboard that you videotape yourself standing in front of and you write on, which I'm a little camera shy and I don't actually own a whiteboard. Or I could use something like Jamboard from Google, which let's just do like a simple example. Let's just say I wanted to take a circle and we're going to use Q object cast to cast this into a square, something like this. And it's just, it's kind of simple. You can do this very, very quickly, very easily, make some nice graphical things that just explain things. So like I wanted to use, you know, Q object cast to cast our circle into a square kind of thing. Just real simple whiteboard stuff. And of course you can definitely do things like this which I'm not good at at all. I'm just trying to do this with a mouse. 
Boy, I'm really bad at this. This is why I don't own a whiteboard anyway. So um, just been looking at a lot of stuff like that. Um, one thing to know, I've really been in the Void Rums Facebook group and I've been really watching and paying attention to what people are asking for. And I'm going to try to incorporate that into the videos as well. Speaking of videos, um, I've been going out and rereading all the questions and comments on the videos in the Udemy courses along with YouTube. And one thing that's kind of frustrated me is I'll get people in YouTube saying, why haven't you made videos? Well, I've made hundreds of videos. They're just out in Udemy. I realize that not everybody can afford $19.99 for a course or even $9 when it's on sale. So uh, every so often I go into the Void Realms group and I sprinkle, or more like carpet bomb, free coupons for pretty much every course that Udemy will let me. They really throttle the number of free coupons I can give out, so I have to really limit what I can do, which I think sucks, but I understand why they do it. Um, so if you're really eye on a free coupon, definitely jump into the Void Realms Facebook group. I will be dropping coupons in there as I can. And if you've already purchased or signed up for one of these courses, you will get a free coupon too the cute six versions of these once they come out so we'll definitely go from there and so this is going to take pretty much most of 2021 right here this took me years of work to do and i'll probably spend most of 2021 redoing all this and then i'll go down the dart flutter track along with make like qml and cute widgets intermediate and advanced for both of those and that should round out most of the cute technology stack I do want to do like an embedded series and I want to do like a specific for like mobile devices for like Android and iPhone, things like that. I'm just simply not there yet. It's a lot of information to cover. So that's it for this video. Uh, drop a note below. Let me know what you think. Definitely join up in the Void Realms Facebook group. There's tons of us out there constantly chatting and let me know what you think. Talk to you later. Bye.